would like to talk about is family-based immigration. Typically, we do petitions for families, and what we focus on is, by starting off, is filing the I-130 petition. Family base begins with either a child or a parent or a spouse. And there are many roads that you can take in order to get a petition filed and to get approved for a visa. First of all, I want to make sure that everybody understands that there are two different types of categories. There is immediate relative and then there is family based preference. Immediate relative falls under when you're a spouse of a U.S. citizen or you are a child 21 years and older of a parent that is undocumented, so it would be the child would be a U.S. citizen. In those categories, there is no wait for your visa. If you fall into one of those categories, you can file your petition right away, and the approval process usually takes about six to nine months. There are four other categories that you can also fall into in order to apply for a family-based petition. The first one is, is if you're an unmarried son or daughter of a legal resident. Um, there are no visa categories for married children of legal residents, but there are for unmarried. The next one would be if you're an unmarried son or daughter, 21 and older, of a U.S. citizen. Subsequently, there would be spouses and children of residents and married sons and daughters, 21 and older, of citizens. Lastly, there are brothers and sisters that can apply for their, uh, their siblings if they are a U.S. citizen. Uh, these last categories that I spoke of are visa preference, so there are wait lines for these visas, and it would be best that if you come into our office for a consultation to determine how long they would take and if you had had a prior petition put in, let's say, for example, to determine whether your priority date is current and ready to adjust. Recently, I'm sure everybody is aware of the DREAM Act, uh, which passed in 2012. Um, but it is a very popular area that a lot of undocumented immigrants are eligible for. And I just want to briefly touch upon that issue because there is a new law for the DREAMers that allow them to adjust their status to legal resident inside the United States. And I'm going to briefly describe this process. What you would need to do is you have to apply for travel outside of the United States and make a brief departure. And upon your legal entry, you would then be eligible to adjust your status. There are various reasons that you would need to have in order to make this application for travel, and it would be best to come into our office in order to determine if you meet some of these qualifications. The other area of law that has passed recently is called the parole in place for family members of military. Um, this is a great law for people because a lot of parents that are undocumented have children which are in the military and they don't have a way to either get their petition or their visa approved and they have to leave the country and it's you know very stressful for families and this protects parents and spouses of people that are in the military uh, what you would do is you would apply for parole in place and with that you would be able to once you get approved for that that you would be able to adjust your status inside the united states and when i say adjust status i mean you would apply for your visa at an interview office locally here I would be able to attend with you. It's much more protected. It's definitely the way that I would see better fit for our immigration community as an attorney can go with you and protect you that way. The third area of law I would like to speak of is adjustment of status. Typically, in order to be eligible to adjust your status, you have to have a legal entry into the United States. Or, in some instances, if you have a prior petition that has been put in for you by a family member, you might be able to adjust your status inside the United States by paying a penalty. Again, everybody should seek immediate consultation. If you have a petition and it's an older petition, come into our office and let us see if it's either ready to be adjusted or if there's something else that we can do for you in handling your case. Another area of law that's very common in our community is deportation defense. Uh, this area of law is very important because a lot of families are affected by this when um, they're detained or they're stopped for a traffic ticket or a DUI and then they get put into immigration detention centers. And what once was a peaceful uh, family relation turns into a very chaotic spin of events. And it is a very, uh, very hard area of law. But basically what I'd like to say about that is that with deportation defense, you have to see if you're eligible for a bond, if you're eligible for a work permit. 
uh, I would say that don't be afraid if you get put into the immigration court system. Our judges here in Phoenix are very good and they're uh, very reliable in the, in the sense that they will give your case due consideration. The last part of immigration that I would like to speak of is our future of immigration. With current immigration reform on the rise, I see very important to keep families here and to keep them united. Whether you have a petition put in that was put in many years ago and it's not ready to adjust, or you have traffic tickets or any other criminal record, it's best to come into our office to see if there's ways that we can help you now in order to prepare you for the reform when it does come out.